The Department of Homeland Security today began screening passengers arriving in the U.S. from Japan for radiation. Some who flew to Chicago's O'Hare Airport tested positive, but at levels too low to cause any health concern. Radioactive plumes from the Fukushima plant are expected to reach the west coast of the U.S. as early as tomorrow. Health officials and, as we heard, President Obama insist there is no danger to the U.S. or Pacific territories. CNN's Dr. Sanjay Gupta, a CBS News contributor, is in Tokyo. Sanjay, is this plume over the Pacific Ocean dangerous? Well, I think the short answer is no, and there's lots of different reasons uh, why. First of all, they, they have some idea already, Katie, of what the radiation levels have been, and therefore what the radiation levels in this plume are likely to be. And the numbers are pretty extraordinarily small. Uh, for example, uh, if you think about a chest X-ray that a person may get, the amount of radiation from this plume would be one-tenth of that, that it, that it would cause uh, in any individual in the United States. The second thing is there are radiation detector centers really all over the country uh, on the the West Coast, certainly there are, there are detections uh, that are sort of going off at any given time to see if a plume is coming and how much radiation is in there. So you're going to get some advance warning. Meanwhile, Sanjay, how concerned should people in this country be about people, cargo, even food coming in from Japan? Well, you know, there is a theoretical risk that you can transport these radioactive particles on an individual, on the plane, certainly on the cargo. But the important point here, though, again, is levels. I mean, they check for radiation all the time, and you're going to find low levels of radiation. They are finding that on planes coming in from Japan, but at such low levels that it would really have no impact on human health. Even here in Tokyo, the levels have been up to 20 times normal, but even that's about 100th the level uh, that would cause any kind of human health problem. Dr. Sanjay Gupta in Tokyo for us. Sanjay, thanks so much. Thanks, Katie.